for more than 100 million Americans. It's become the go-to social media app for the latest viral dance, fashion, or recipe trends. I'm not rich enough to know what to do with this. <laughs> but amid growing fears, user data could find its way into the hands of the Chinese government. Not allowed to post TikToks anymore. The University of Texas in Austin joining a growing list of schools blocking TikTok on campus Wi-Fi networks, citing TikTok's owner, the Chinese company, ByteDance. UT explaining the measure is intended to eliminate risks to information contained in the university's network and to our critical infrastructure. As a creator, I'm a little bit annoyed. With 12,000 TikTok followers, UT sophomore Genesis Pieri calls herself a micro-influencer. My hair determines what my makeup is going to look like. A lot of the influencers that I grew up watching, they didn't look like me. Now she fears her push for representation could be cut short, with her student audience no longer able to communicate as freely. How concerned are you about a foreign entity essentially spying? It's something that is in the back of my head, like, what are they doing with this data if they do have it? And it's not just colleges. At least 31 states, including Texas, have enacted some sort of TikTok ban, mainly on government-owned phones and computers. The U.S. House of Representatives even banning the app on any House-issued devices. Last month, the head of the FBI citing safety concerns for TikTok users, including the potential manipulation of recommendation algorithms. Which are a lot more uh, worrisome in the hands of the Chinese Communist Party than whether or not you're steering somebody, you know, as an influencer to one product or another. But TikTok says it doesn't store U.S. user data in China or share information with the Chinese government, writing, We're disappointed that so many states are jumping on the political bandwagon to enact policies that will do nothing to advance cybersecurity in their states and are based on unfounded falsehoods about TikTok. Uh, so, Morgan, as you said, uh, we've seen TikTok banned on federal devices, and now we've got this school trend that's impacting everyday people. So is this the beginning, you think, of a wider ban? Yeah, Hoda, potentially we do know that there is bipartisan legislation that was discussed in December that would not only ban TikTok potentially, but other apps with social media that could be tied to Russia and or several other foreign countries that the government considers concerning. Uh, in the meantime, we're told by TikTok that they've been in ongoing negotiations with the federal government for more than two years and that, quote, positive progress is being made. And we're also hearing from lawmakers who say that there is another solution, and that would be the sale to an American company to keep TikTok operating here in the U.S. without all of these growing amount uh, of concerns. Hoda? All right, Morgan Chesky for us there in Austin. Morgan, thanks. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.